Hello everybody, welcome to this session. Now this is a sequel to the SAP MM videos. Now uh, in this video we would be looking at how to reverse the goose movement once the PGI is done. Usually PGI is the final step uh, from where you know the material would be starting to move. So in this session we would be seeing that if we have already posted a PGI how can we reverse the post goods issue for a document. Uh, usually uh, in terminology terminology wise we call it as reverse the goods movement so let's see uh, the transaction code where we go as vl03n so that we can first see some document so i have picked up already a delivery document which is like a stock transport order nlcc so this is my delivery document number um, here you can say 8001607 now here you can see let me go to the document flow now here you can see that there is already a pgi which is posted so let me go into the change mode once now here you can see that the post goods issue is already disabled that means i mean you know it's already completed so picking wise it's done and the goods movement data is already you can see here it is completed right now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to reverse the goods movement so once we reverse the goods movement the expectation from the system is that this goods movement should be back to the a status because the goods issue it would be as good as no goods, goods issue done for this document so now uh, the post goods issue should be enabled so let's do now for that what we have to do is the transaction code that we have to use is VL09 and then just execute it now I'm just saying reverse so it says reverse goods movement I say yes and Oh, okay I think I'm in the change mode in the document let me go into the display mode all right now let me process again Okay, now I think I mean system is a little bit slow, but then um, usually uh, it would not take that much time. So this is the confirmation prompt. I mean for the reverse goods movement. Once the goods movement is reversed, it would uh, we would be getting a status message, and uh, over there the expectation from the system we need to check that uh, it is it meeting the expectation as what we were expecting or not. So you can see here that the goods movement for the delivery is cancelled, no problems have been logged. So I say OK and here automatically it is converted to A. So the goods movement status is now A. So awaiting. Now here you can see, let's go into the change mode. So here you can see that the goods movement would be converted to A, not yet started and post goods issue has been enabled and here we would be getting one more document which would be like stock in transit as cancelled so you can see here it would reverse the movement with 648 minus now here i mean uh, this is uh, like one step transfer what has been done from this plant to this plant now here you can see that uh, this is one step so it has actually reversed the goods movement at the receiving plant and then it has reversed the goods movement at the supplying plant so this is how you would be doing uh, the goods movement reversal for any of the document which has been PGI'd or goods issued. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.